Oh, okay, I made a mistake. I opened up YouTube and I saw, oh, my subs are going down fast. Oh my god, it's because it broke, oh my god. Hey boys, how's it going? So today we have a new call related to Jar that has been leaked online between somebody named Himpleton, who's a guy, small commentator. I'll leave a link to his channel now in the description below. So thank you to him for giving me this call. But basically, Himpleton and Jar have a conversation about the recent stuff that happened with Cine Bear. And uh, man, some of the things he says in this is uh, pretty funny and it kind of opens your eyes a little bit, not only about the Cine situation, but the Jar situation as well. <laughs> so let's get into this. Because he was on a business trip and he just got home, but my video got leaked. I panicked and I uploaded the video and then I didn't know what to do and then my messages with her got leaked and it really does look like I'm hitting on her but I swear I joke around like that all the time I'm gra gathering the evidence to show that I, I always say to people hey you want to see my cock and then I send them a picture of a fucking chicken yeah yeah no I mean I kind of get that like the biggest thing for me I guess was the fact that like and I'm not saying this is the case I'm just saying like this is probably something that you should get ready to respond to um, mm -hmm. it was, and like, again, like, this is not me saying this, this is just something you should probably be ready for. Um, when you say that, like, do you want to see my cock thing? There is, I mean, it could have literally been five seconds and then the minute turned, but it shows on the messages. There was a minute between you saying that and sending the picture and like, oh, yeah, to I, know. Some... I know, okay. I, I okay. know because like first time I did that was actually with a uh, Spockter. I said, Hey, check your DMs while we were in a call group chat. And I said, and he saw the message and I said, you want to see it? And he shaked his head and then I sent him the picture and he went, oh, oh, okay. You're a funny guy. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, I mean, I guess like, again, not my thing. All right, so he's trying to make the argument that those memes, those little messages he sent to bear, like, you want to see my blank and you want, you like, you have a nice blank, were just memes and jokes that he did it to other people and other friends of his just because he likes to mess with them and, like, makes these type of jokes. Which, let me give him the benefit of a doubt. Let me say, yes, yeah, that is a joke. It was a meme at the beginning. It's still not appropriate to do some say that to somebody who is literally tr like somebody who's being accused of being a pedophile and you are trying to quote unquote try to make a video defending them. You know what I mean? Like that is not appropriate to make those things at any point. You, now it's fine if you want to do it to friends and you want to joke around and do it with friends uh, who are of age. That is completely fine. That's up to you. But I think it's also a weird thing to like send it to somebody who you barely don't know and you're trying to get an interview and trying to make a whole video defending. Now my very favorite Harry Potter lookalike Hempleton actually does brings up a very very good point about basically how when you originally put the want to see my blank like image or message and then under it putting the actual picture of the chicken uh there's a massive kind gap and there's also a point that people are making which i have seen where people are saying he was waiting to test the waters before he put the chicken because if sunny bear actually decides to actually in like go with it and actually say yes then he, he can continue with the well quote flirting and sex thing which again that is a way to look at that but that's to me that also looks like over analyzing it a little bit like a little bit but i see the point i see what you're trying to say and i definitely can see the avenue being possible but it we don't have enough to say that for 100 percent fact it just kind of seems like we're over analyzing something you know what i mean so I think what you're saying makes sense. Um, so with all of that being said, like, do you stand by, like, do you, do you really stand by any of the stuff that you said in that video? Oh yeah. I mean, other people, like even Chud agree with some of my points. Sure. What, what, what I, would you still stand by? Do you think? I, okay. I don't think dictionary definition wise, it was grooming. Like, I don't think what she did was grooming. Like when I think of grooming, I think of, uh, like, someone trying to get with the child or get nudes from the child or something else. I, I don't think it's grooming, and I don't think, and I think it's dumb when people say, oh, well, there's multiple different definitions of grooming, like grooming someone for a, in a position of power. It's like, listen, if you were, like, buddy, like, um, uh, H, I'll just call you, can I call you H? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. If you were a dog, let's say, hypothetically, in real life, your job is uh, being a dog groomer. I don't think you would be too happy if I made a video called H is a groomer. Right. Like 100%. grooming. I don't want the word grooming to be watered down because I think it's a very serious thing and a very serious allegation. The problem, though, is what City did is so categorically over the top inappropriate that it's hard to not call it grooming. I can understand why people called it grooming. And I should have I should have been way harsher on Stinny. That's like my biggest issue. It's just I I never said what she did was OK, but I, right. I really should have been harsher. My words like. 
<laughs> what do you mean the dog grooming thing? That was kind of the thing that really made me laugh out loud because it's like, what? That's not what we're talking about in terms of their different definitions of grooming. There are different definitions of grooming. We're not talking about dog grooming. We're not talking about that type of, there's different definitions for the type of grooming that we are talking about in this situation. Like you're being actually brain dead. And also Jar, we've already had this discussion. Chud Logic and you have had this discussion on his own stream where you conceded on this. So you're going backtracking on it now saying it's still not technically grooming because X, Y, and Z literally i'm sorry the girl literally made the 14 year old read a rape comic out loud to them i don't know what else is gonna make you think that oh it's the grooming or not like <laughs> dude it's like how many times we have to have this conversation with the whole with the whole like other calls that you'll have because like obviously you'll have multiple other calls um were all of those about your video i i can't recall okay I don't like to, I really, really don't like the commentary community amnesia's excuse of, I don't remember, because it's so stupid, it's it's just um The problem is, I was on sleeping pills, and I remember a lot of them being about the video, but I think a few of them were also just shooting the shit, just chatting about stuff, and it mostly happened because my roommate was on his trip, and I just need someone to talk to for a few minutes so I can pass out, and yeah, I mean... I almost called someone else as well, but what I did was incredibly unprofessional, incredibly stupid. It's not a romantic thing at all. It's just my nicotine addiction keeping me from falling asleep. And if I don't talk to someone, I look at a screen. If I look at a screen, it wakes me up. And like, I need total sure. darkness. I even have like blackout curtains and all that. And I can understand how people got the wrong idea from those. It's the problem is I have none of them recorded because they were all on mobile. I can only record stuff on uh, my PC, not on my mobile device. Um, and I, I've heard that I might have said like, oh, you are my type. And I was like, fuck, did I say that? And I'm questioning if I did say that in the last call I had with her or not. But if I did, I definitely I, I'm like 90 percent sure I followed up with. But I have a girlfriend and she's definitely my type. What do you mean you were on sleep pills and you had a nicotine addiction? So that's why your interview was not good. You're just making up excuses. That's pretty. First of all, that's not how sleeping pills work. Like, what are you trying to do? And why are you doing that during an interview? That doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're that exhausted, that tired of a person, do not make an interview with somebody that is you're supposed to have it a professional discussion with trying to make a video trying to like you know clear their name like you were trying to do and i love how he's trying he's like well i don't remember if i said if i i would fuck you know city bear i don't remember it at all but if i did you know i probably said at the end he's like oh yeah i have a girlfriend like like what if you like yes okay well, if i start flirting say yeah i'm gonna fuck you but hey i got a girlfriend remember this remember that i'm just, i'm sexually attracted to you but i got a girlfriend but, all right I got a girlfriend. Any in particular, the what kind of put it over the line with me, and I was actually about to follow up and ask about this because I remember you saying in the chat interview that you didn't end up um, actually looking at all the logs. Um, I, so, I guess so. Well, so I'll be going to take that. in just a second, but like at first, I do okay. want to hear what all you did and didn't look at, like in terms of the logs. Well, I need to admit to something. I'm highly dyslexic. Like I have one of the worst yeah, cases of dyslexia. Enough. And that's why I was waiting for my roommate to come home so he could like help me read through the logs because he's a lot better at reading than I am. I, w I asked my girlfriend and she was like, I don't want to look at those. And even then, even on the Chud stream, he didn't go over what was said in the logs uh, with me. And uh, I'm just confused because like I read some of the highlighted parts. Like I looked through the first one and I saw people like, oh, Cine's uh, character was doing a po um, suggestive pose. Um, and it was fan art and she posted it in her discord and I was like, I, I don't, I, I don't think that's porn. I, I'm sorry. And then yeah. I, I yeah, saw I mean, the second dog. I don't give a shit about that stuff. Like I'm, I'm yeah, not going to this clip in particular does irk me a lot. So the first point is he didn't read all the logs, which we already knew, but it's just like, dude, like if you're gonna make a whole video defending Cindy Bear and like trying to like defend her of all counts and all points, but you don't read the whole logs, what are you doing? Why are you making the video in the first place? You need to read everything, all right? Because you're coming to these conclusions that this isn't grooming, this isn't this isn't child abuse, this is not this, this is not that, that's not weird, that's not porn, but then you don't read everything to the everything to the fullest extent and doing your own more research. <coughs> 
And the point that really irks me is the dyslexia thing. Because if you don't know, I have dyslexia myself. I've had it all my life, and it's been something I've always struggled with. And him to use it as basically an excuse on why he didn't read the logs is just ridiculous. If your dyslexia is that bad, don't actually do this type of content. Or at least walk it with somebody. But he got too panicked and too paranoid that, he, that Kuma leaked his thing where he had to release it then and there. No, you, what you should have done is done more thorough research and actually read the logs before you go out and defending somebody. And this is to any content creator out there, before you make a video defending anybody, you need, and I repeat this, you need to make sure everything is correct. You've read every DM, every situation, and everything related to everything before you can come to a conclusion, especially if you're defending somebody. Here, what I'd love to do is just bring up a couple of, so I, I actually read through, and like this isn't a flex or anything, by the way, like I just want to make that clear, but like I, I read through all of the DMs, okay? Because Cine so released all of them without, like completely unadulterated uh with her response um and so i do just want to bring up a couple of pieces of context to see if this not not changes your mind to think it's grooming but changes your mind at all on kind of your opinions of it um so like first of all with the rape comic um in different calls Cine got you know to uh read that out loud read read some of the panels out loud um yeah d does that change anything for you yes well, it depends. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that she read it out loud where minors were present. Well, you know, in, or Eno was the one reading it out loud. Cine got oh my Eno God. to read it out loud. Oh. In call together. Oh, my God. I did not know that. Yeah. Yep. That I did. Uh, oh. Oh, God. And in, in total, I mean, is... they had around 20 hours of phone calls, and almost all of them were dedicated to, like, talking about that sexual material. Yeah, that completely changes everything. That can, I, you, you, I'm sure you have more, but like, I think that's enough. Like, case closed. That's no, yeah. you don't. Who? How much of a coomer do you have to be to like risk your repu reputation over something like this? And Irony. So Hempleton tells him about basically the whole thing about Cindy making Eno, the minor 14-year-old, to actually read the rape comment, comic that we've talked about last time where she admitted to in the other league call that Cindy had with Kumo. And just robot that changes his entire perspective. And it honestly gets to this point where it's like, if you didn't know about it, I can understand that. But it's also like, dude. Like, if you did a little bit more research, you could have known about it. Even before the sending call leak, I heard rumors about this, right? So I feel like if Just a Robot just waited to make a video on him, on the whole Cine Bear situation, I feel like that we wouldn't be in this situation, you know? Did more research, made did more due diligence. But no, his little penis got in the way because he'd rather go, like, goon over a possible pedo than actually get the story correct. But yeah, that's pretty much the call itself. There's a couple points that I think are really funny that he does mention the call, but if you want to go actually listen to the call yourself, go ask and go follow Himpleton. He has the call himself, and it's an interesting call. It's, like, about an hour long, so if you want to listen. These are just some of the points that I found very interesting, and I think it really does show a lot about the jar situation that we've been following for a while. Do have a second call that's going to be leaked that I am going to plan to make a video with Jar's editor as it also brings up the whole casting couch <laughs> debacle about the video that we have been laughing about for a while and it kind of opens again some another door for Jar. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for the, watching this video. I greatly do appreciate it. And uh, I also want to say, guys, thank you. We just hit 1K, um, which is insane. Like, the support in the last couple days on all the videos have just been actually the most insane thing I've ever dealt with for a while. And it's just actually crazy. Uh, the support you guys have been doing is just... It, I, it, I'm a lost for words. I'm generally out. And uh, it's just crazy that we've gotten to this point where we have 1K subs and having a lot of these viewership and a lot of you guys watching my other videos. It, it's just awesome. So I'm going to keep up the content in the few, and I'm planning to do a live stream, uh, just playing games, probably uh, talking about me hitting 1K and my uh, journey, everything like that sort. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about the next call that got leaked. See you guys. Later.